Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and all fear. Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. St. John chapter 14 and verse 25. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And the Most High have shown favor to the apostles and the elders, and on down to younger brothers like myself, which are in the spirit of the apostles or the elders, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, to be comforted in these times. Because we have the true spirit of the Most High upon us, which is the spirit of understanding, the spirit of discernment, the spirit to know that the Most High is only making good upon his words in these times that we're living in, which are the end times. The Most High is only visiting the earth which he have made. And we shall be comforted in these times. Isaiah 33 and verse 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is his treasure. So wisdom and knowledge that the Holy Spirit has allowed us to receive shall be our stability in these times, in these times of mass destruction, that shall come to America by the way of race riots, by the way of this plague, the coronavirus being spread upon the soils of America, all right, which is going to lead to martial law and Esau Edom coming with their RFID chip, all right? It's going to lead up to all anarchy upon the soils of America, all right? And that's going to lead up to the total destruction of America by the way of 200 million missiles. This is the knowledge and wisdom that we have received through the Holy Spirit that shall make us able to stand in these days and not bug out like the rest of the people are going to bug out. Those that have rejected the prophets, those that the Holy Spirit has rejected, they're going to bug out in these days. Let's read it again. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And stability is what? the capability to stand, all right, in these times. What times? The times of Jacob's trouble. Pursuant to the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's those that have uh, the wisdom and the knowledge, those that are capable of standing, those that are protected by the angels of the Lord, all right, those that are protected um, by the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of understanding, the spirit of the sermon, all right, the spirit to know that these times were are, are forespoken of, okay, um, the book of the book of Psalms, chapter ninety one. All right. And verse one, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. And what's the secret place of the most high? This knowledge and this wisdom that the Holy Spirit have brought back to our remembrance. OK. These things have been prophesied about. OK. The total destruction of America is found within the King James Version, whether you people hear or forbear. Verse two, it says. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. And we have all trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. We know that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah will protect us. And those that have rejected their protection, all right, you're going to fall by the wayside. Let's look up this word refuge in the Strong's H. 4268 and the definition says refuge shelter so this knowledge 
and this wisdom that we have received due to the Holy Spirit dealing with us, all right, is going to be our refuge. It's going to be our shelter. It says from rain or storm, from danger. And what's that ultimate rain or storm, all right? Uh, the Most High is going to put the Spirit upon his sword, which is Esau Edom, the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites, okay, the world bankers, okay? They're going to come in with a flood. They're going to come in with a storm, okay? And we're going to be protected from that, okay? And that ultimate rain or storm is the 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles that shall be shot upon America, okay? It says, from danger, okay? And, and these are the times of danger, okay? It says, of falsehood, okay? From these uh, um, false prophets that have led our people astray and telling you that everything is going to be all right. All right, that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, and it's okay to take it, okay? We have been protected from all these things, and we shall be protected from all these things, okay? This is uh, Psalms 91, and verse 3, it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Yeah, we're going to be delivered from the snare of the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites, okay? It says, from the noise and pestilence. What's that? The intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay, it says, verse 4, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth, all right, shall be thy shield and buckler. That's right. In the time of the noise and pestilence, which is the 200 million missiles, all right, we're going to be covered. It says, he shall cover thee with his feathers. What's that? That's talking about what the world deems as UFOs. We in the know identify them all right we call them the ifos the identifiable flying objects which are the chariots of the most high our vehicles of salvation those that believe all right we're gonna get beamed up so to speak out of this total destruction of america this is that knowledge and wisdom that shall cover us all right it says and his truth what's the truth that we are the so-called negroes latinos and native americans no that we are the true biblical israelites okay of the King James Version, okay? That's that truth. And knowing that only a small number of the children of Israel shall be saved, which is the elect, and we're given diligence to make our calling of an election sure. We have been storing up our treasures in heaven for this very moment. It says, his truth shall be thy shield, and that's going to be our shield to what? Protect us, all right? And our buckler, okay? Let's jump from there, and let's get... Uh, Let's get the book of Ezekiel, all right, chapter 33, in verse 2 it says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, verse 3, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And that's what's been taking place for years, starting with the apostles and the elders, all right, on down to younger brothers like myself. Once again, in the same spirit of the apostles, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, all right, to see the danger coming and to stand upon our watch, all right, and to warn the people of the land. The people being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true people of the King James Version, the true peculiar people. We have warned you that the sword was coming, and that sword, once again, shall come in the form of Esau Edom, all right? And Esau Edom is going to bring all of his chaos to the land of America, and ultimately that sword is 200 million missiles to totally destroy this place. And your only escape shall be Yahweh Shai, all right? That's your only escape. Okay, but when these times uh, fully are accomplished, which we are living in, in the beginning stages, all right, and all hell is about to break loose upon the soils of America, whether you people here or forbear, all right, Isaiah 33 and 33 is going to be in full effect. It says, Isaiah 33 and 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know, then the people are going to know. That a prophet have been among them, starting with the apostles and the elders on down to younger brothers like myself that has been warning the people. You're going to know that we are who we say that we were, the prophets of the Most High, all right? 
So, Lord willing, I just had this little quick lesson upon my spirit. All right, Lord willing, uh, we be out of here soon. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. Shalom and DTA.